Hey guys, it's Riley, and today we're going to be talking about how I knew I was trans and why I chose to transition. When I was growing up, I was seen as being um, pretty feminine. I wore dresses a lot. I did my nails with my family because it was a way for me to bond with them. There was there wasn't any men in my family, so it was just a bunch of girls. So there was really nothing else for me to do. Um, the things I did weren't seen as conventionally feminine. I I love to fish. I love to crab. Uh, play video games. I really I played Tekken and Pokemon Stadium almost every day. I rode my bike. I played in the dirt. I played baseball. You know. Anything you could think of outside, that's what I enjoyed to do. Um, when I was still in elementary school, that's when puberty hit me and I developed a chest and I got my period. I got threatened to be grounded for not wearing a bra in order for my parents to get me to wear one. So that was very triggering for me, even at a young age. I mean, I was I was nine years old. Um when I got my period, you know, I didn't know what was happening. No one told me that that was going to happen to my body. So I honestly thought I was dying. Um, and on top of that, I was extremely irregular. So, you know, I wouldn't have it for two days and then it would start again. So that was just a reminder that it was going to be permanent. I, there was nothing else for me to think. I was nine years old. In eighth grade, I started wearing masculine clothes and clothes that would hide aspects of my body that I did not want to show to people. Um, the only time I ever wore dresses, I was either going to graduation or I was going to prom. And other than that, you know, I wore shorts, I wore tank tops, I wore t-shirts, really nothing too revealing at all because I didn't want my body to be shown. I didn't yeah. like it. Then I went into college my freshman year. It was a pretty good year. I mean, I met new people. I did really well in my classes. Um, I made a bunch of friends in the LGBT community thanks to, you know, the organization that we had on campus. I was really thankful for that. Um, sophomore year was a whole other story. I grew extremely depressed. Um, I just wanted people to love me, not, like, romantically, you know, so I would, you know, lead on a whole bunch of women and make them fall for me, and then I would walk away because I didn't think that anyone could ever possibly love me for who I was. Um, I would fall asleep somewhere between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m., and I would wake up at 4 p.m. and I would hate myself and wish that I never woke up. Um, I was pretty suicidal. I didn't go to any of my classes. So, you know, I lost my scholarship. And, you know, that it's been really hard for me to get back into it even now. But, you know, I'm trying to start over. So I'm going to a new school um, next semester. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, you know, it was... It was all really bad, and that's that's when I decided, you know what, things needed to change. Um, I need to do something to make me happy, you know, because, you know, I'm the one that's going to have to live with myself or not, you know. So it took me a while to accept myself as part of the transgender community, especially when I thought that other members of the community weren't going to accept wasn't going to accept myself because of my past and just so you guys know the last time I regressed my transition was October of 2013 so that is a huge step for me and I've been going to therapy and I'm working my way towards hormones and eventually top surgery so thank you guys for watching this video and if you guys want you know ask me some questions Follow me on Tumblr or Twitter or my Facebook. You can friend request me on Facebook and, you know, I hope to hear some feedback from you guys.